take a look at whether the binding between this green protein and this pink protein predicted by AlphaFold is believable or not. We'll use Chimera X. Let me rotate it so you can see. It just looks like a, a disordered tail of the pink proteins bound to the green protein. I'll use this command. I've already typed it here at the bottom. AlphaFold contacts chain A to chain B. The green is chain A. If I hover the mouse over, you can see that. And the pink is chain B. And distance 8. So I hit return. And it shows me all of these um, lines between the two, uh, the two chains. The, the lines are colored according to the predicted aligned error that AlphaFold computed. So whether the two resid whether two residues at the ends of these lines, uh, AlphaFold believes they're in correct relative position. So blue is good, yellow is not so good. Um, so we see we have a mix of um, some confident regions and towards the ends not very confident. All right, uh, this is a, this AlphaFold contacts command. Uh, was added to Chimera X on, on June 9th, 2022. So you would need a daily build of Chimera X newer than that, or it will in the future be in Chimera X 1.5. It's not in Chimera X version 1.4. Let me start from the beginning and show you how I got these structures and how I got the predicted aligned error to allow doing this kind of display. So I'm going to close these models. So I ran the Chimera X uh, AlphaFold tool in order to make the prediction of this dimer. This is under uh, structure prediction AlphaFold. And I pasted in the sequences. Uh, one of those proteins was in capsulin. Here's its sequence. Uh, I'm just here at the Uniprote page. Let me copy it. And I'll paste it over here to Chimera X. And then I have a comma and I paste the other sequence in. The other sequence is a ferritin. So I paste that in, and then I'd press predict here. And then it would go to Google Colab uh, servers and run the prediction and take a couple hours. So I'm not gonna run that right now. After it's done, it would just display it in Chimera X. Um, it also downloads it to your downloads folder. So I'm just going to open the version that I ran previously. So I'll say open. And I'll go to uh, downloads, Chimera X, uh, AlphaFold. There are other databases that it loads, uh, it saves data from, like the Protein Data Bank here. I have a bunch of files in here that start with AF. These are from the AlphaFold database of uh, pre-computed models. They're just cached here that I've, I've looked at in the past. And at the bottom, I have all these prediction directories. That's where Chimera X, when it makes an AlphaFold prediction, puts the results. The one I want is prediction 12, and I choose this bestmodel.pdb. So this is the structure we were looking at a moment ago. And I want to look at this predicted aligned error that AlphaFold computed. It's in that same directory. Um, I can easily bring it up by going to this menu entry structure prediction um, AlphaFold error plot. It will find the right file in the same directory, and I can just press open, and here is that error plot. Okay, so the plot has uh, residues along the vertical axis, residues along the horizontal axis, um, and colors for each pair of residues, blue meaning the two rel residues are in good relative um, position, alpha fold believes, and yellow and red not so good. Uh, the upper blue square here corresponds to the uh, residues of one of the proteins. If I drag a box around it, it will just color it. So that's the encapsulin protein. The residues for the encapsulin protein are that upper blue square. The lower, the lower square that's the ferritin protein. And if I drag a box in the off diagonal region in this plot, so um, you see it's mostly white there, not blue, which means AlphaFold doesn't believe that the relative positioning of the green and the blue, uh, sorry, green and the pink 
the two proteins. It doesn't believe that they're correct, except that you see uh, this little yellow bar in this off-diagonal box. If I, if I drag just around that little yellow bar, then we see uh, in pink, uh, that little yellow bar corresponds to this fragment of the ferritin that is in contact with the encapsulant. So it has some confidence, and that's what we saw when we displayed those lines. So now I'm ready, I can go back and run that same command. Um, I don't need this distance eight. By default, it uses a distance of three angstroms. So if we do that, we get fewer lines, only the residues that are within three angstroms of each other. Um, we can also display the, uh, the lines for the entire protein complex. Instead of saying from chain A to chain B, I can say alpha fold contacts number one. And if I wanted, that's again three angstroms, every pair of residues within three angstroms of each other. I can get more by saying distance eight, every pair within eight angstroms of each other. And you can see that the two proteins, the encapsulin and ferritin, they're both mostly blue lines. So alpha fold has high confidence that those um, shapes are correct. But then between the two, uh, the interface between the encapsulin and ferritin, uh, it's less certain whether that is correct. If I wanted to get rid of these lines, um, if I just hide that in the model panel where it says best model, uh, there, if I click on the little uh, arrow on the left, it will show this PAE, predicted aligned error contacts, as a submodel. And I can turn it off with this check button, or I can hit this close button to close it. Okay, uh, I think that, that covers it. Um, yeah, thanks for listening.